Welcome to Pro Fabrication. My name is Steve Salsley, and we're here today to discuss some of the components that we utilize in building custom headers. Uh, we, uh, we build race car headers and street rod headers here. We have 20 plus years of experience building headers, and these are some of the connections on how we hold those tubes together. So, we're going to assemble a uh, motorcycle header here for a Pro Mod, or a Pro, Pro Mod bike. Uh, so you can, you can see we have a few different types of connections. We have a flat uh, tab uh, here, um, and I'll show you that the flat tab is basically like a crossover type tab. Um, it has two different heights here, and that is to uh, take up for the wall thickness. You've got uh, something, uh, you've got a tube sliding in, and you've got a tube over top. So the difference in height here is to utilize, uh, take up that height difference so that the, the, the top of that is still flat. It's not going to have to be put on like that or like that. The other connection we have here is a spring type tab connection. So we've got a tab that we weld on to the header or the collector and then we'll utilize a spring to hold that. And that'll hold a slip type connection as well. So we're going to go ahead and assemble uh, this header and we'll show you kind of what that might look like, at least some of it. So now we've got that connection made. Keep in mind that this is very thin tubing that we're dealing with here, O35 wall, O28 wall material, um, and that's why that connection was so tight. Um, but at this point then you could put this bolt through that connection and that would secure the collector to the header. The other connection is that spring type tab connection. And here, we will simply simply uh, we have separated these to where there's some preload on that spring. So we've actually got to pull it a little bit, and that has got some tension on it. Uh, you've got to have some tension on these connections, um, but that's uh, that's a simple connection. The other type, uh, we have a couple other types of uh, connections here that we can utilize. Um, this, uh, these are just uh, sheet metal tabs uh, that we utilize, and they would simply get welded on behind the slip joint and then onto the primary tube. I can kind of demonstrate that by just sliding, inserting this tube into here and showing you that this would then simply be welded on in that fashion. We want to make sure that this tab does not uh, hold the collector from going on all the way, so we want to keep that back just a little bit. And when we do uh, put this together, we want to make sure that when the lock nut um, is in full engagement, that, the, that it is not making that tight. We want to make sure that we have a little bit of movement on here. Um, if you tighten all of uh, these joints, and keep them very, very tight. Uh, it, th there is thermal growth in an exhaust system and it will try to tear those tabs out. So if you've got that a little bit too tight right there, you may start seeing where it's gonna crack or try to pull that tab out of that uh, thin metal. The other connection that we have, uh, we call these barrel tabs. Uh, these are machined parts. Uh, wire EDM parts, and they also uh, utilize two different heights. So we are making up the difference uh, of the wall thickness for this type of connection. So we would utilize a taller connection, taller tab on this side, and a shorter one on this side. And the same applies, that we want to make sure that we don't have these too tight when we actually are using these in service. Uh, on the race car uh, because it will start to tear that material out. So 
this pretty much covers the different types of uh, swift connections that we utilize here in exhaust assembly and fabrication. These are all good uh, acceptable ways to assemble uh, headers and exhaust systems. Thank you for visiting ProFabrication. We can be reached at profabrication.com or you can give us a call at 704-795-7563. Thank you.